Hi, I'm Heidi Rowan back with another Profiles update. New from Spornet, Tegu, America's most popular aerated stylers have been enhanced to create even higher sales and profits for you and your customers. Don't worry, the trademark Brilliant Blue Barrel has not changed. However, Spornet has modified the handle so that the Tegu brushes are more comfortable than ever before. Professional and retail trade are going to love the new Tegu stylers. They're available in five sizes. Stop by Spornet's booth and selling rooms for some good food and relaxation and ask them to tell you about the most popular brush line that's number one in America, Tegu Stylers. Now back to Rick with more Profiles. Hey, listen, don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, we'll bring you here to La Coca. This is La Coca Falls. We are in the rainforest called El Yonque here in Puerto Rico. It's the only United States government state park that is a rainforest. And it's here in Puerto Rico. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Kay Shaneman, back with another BBSI Minute. You know, for several years, the Beauty and Barber Supply Institute has wanted to build on something it does really well, the beauty show business. The idea was to create an exclusive educational event for salon professionals that not only benefits the beauty industry, but becomes its driving force. I'm proud to say that this idea is now a reality. The International Cosmetology Expo, ICE, is well on its way to a stunning premiere in Los Angeles in February 1999. This event, one of six to be produced across the country by BBSI, promises salon professionals the best in marketing and beauty education, an exciting glimpse of the industry for students and high school guidance counselors, and a showcase of hot new trends. Most importantly, all ticket sales from ICE will fund student grants and ad campaigns to give a much needed boost to our industry and its image. With more than 75% of the first show sold, ICE isn't something that's going to happen. It's already here and here to stay. I'll be back with another BBSI Minute later. And now, back to Profiles. We are back with another Spotlight segment here on Profiles. And with me, the man who has brought the greatest gloves in the world to the beauty industry, Michael Whitman, the president of Metropolis. These are the most wonderful gloves, are they not? Absolutely fantastic. Your, your sales of these gloves have been phenomenal in the last three years. Is it just that it's a totally unique product? Yeah. Is there's nothing like them? The manufacturer really has a niche here. Nobody's able to develop anything like it. Their investment that they did in this was many years ago, so nobody could compete with them in today's marketplace. So they just maintain a great quality all the years they've been producing it mm -hmm. and have just captured the market. And of course, we're so used to seeing these. These are the uh, hair color gloves, and the, the ones that are orange, right, are the Semperfit gloves? Semperfit, which Little we use for shampooing, for relaxing, duty. and sometimes for cleaning the salon as well. Right. Now, let's address the fact that these are not throwaway gloves. These are not inexpensive right. gloves, and yet salons buy them in droves. They actually, even though there are more you know, intensive uh, investment to make, mm -hmm. $4 for one pair, they're much more economical than using disposable gloves because one pair can outlast boxes right. of disposables. But, uh, but they also feel better. I understand they're actually more tactile. The touch and sensitivity is absolutely extraordinary. They don't grab the hair wet or dry. Mm -hmm. And you can actually feel water temperature and very sensitive things when you right. work with them. Amazing. We call you the glove man, of course, but you've grown beyond gloves now. Of course, there are the matador combs. That's correct. But now you've got something else. You're expanding your company, true? That is correct. We are, our research and development has been really active in the last year, looking and seeking out new products and new things for us to market. Unique things, things that are different. And we just found one that we really believe is going to be a really strong product in the future. Let's talk about this new, this new flat iron. I, I'm calling it the Floyd Kenyatta iron because it actually has come from Floyd Kenyatta, true? Floyd is the person who did introduce it to the United States a few years back. But what makes this iron so unique is that it's shaped differently than all other irons. When I say flat iron to somebody, they think of just a conventional flat iron for straightening. Right, right. This flat iron has a one inch wide base with a rounded edge, which allows you to use it like a curling iron right. to eliminate all the larger sizes. And it leaves no line of demarcation. Right. Very hot, very consistent, very even flow of heat. 
And super quality. Floyd used this iron all over the world, of course, and he is one of the top, the top. That is correct. Artists. American Salon has had him on covers two years in a row utilizing this for their cover, and they have given a lot of promotion to it. So we already get orders coming in without even having advertising or flyers already. Is the flat iron here at the convention, here at the show? Yes, it is, absolutely. It is. Your booth, by the way, is like right in the front, right next to the BBSI booth, true? As soon as you walk in the door, you just move your head a little bit left and you'll and see Metropolis. No excuse for anyone not to find you at no, the show. No, we'll grab everybody as they come in the door. The booth number is 402, Correct. I should say. What is the message that you have for distributors this year at the BBSI? What is it that they should know about, about Matador and what you've got to offer? Well, we've got a lot of the major distributors in the marketplace now. Everybody has really come on board. It's been really great, especially this year. A lot of the bigger companies that just kind of watched us over the years have finally come to us, and now we do business with them. few areas still we need to cover in, but now the key thing is really diversifying more products, different and unique things that have not been seen before. And we certainly have some really unique and different things coming down our path. Are you actually doing research now? Yeah, we have a little research and development department. It's no not kidding. very big, but it is active. And we have seven products in there right now going through that process to see if they will be viable for us to distribute. Some of them because of manufacturing difficulties, some of them because of um, distribution difficulties. Mm -hmm. But we're looking for exclusive items. And we think we have a really good selection of them to choose from. Well, the fact of the matter is, Michael, you have, and I guess you probably thank yourself for this all the time, you have a, an item that really has no competition in the beauty industry. That's true. That's got to be great for your distributors. That is really true. Our distributors will do like that. One of the things I think they like about our product is, is that we developed the marketplace for it. We created all the demand right, for it, right. and all they have to do is open the door and say we have it, and right. business starts flowing in. You get calls all the time, don't you, saying, I, I saw your gloves at a show, where can I buy them? Constantly. We get people coming to us who said, oh, yeah, a friend of mine had a pair. We had no right. idea how to get them. We finally found you. We're so glad we found you. It's Thank God. It's a distributor's dream to have a product that people are just looking for. All they want is somebody to sell it to them. That's it. Come down and talk to Michael Whitman and find out about everything that Metropolis has to offer, including, of course, the glove that has no competition in the beauty industry. What a gold mine for you. No competition. The new um, GIS iron, the combs, everything else. They've got a lot of stuff in store. Booth 402 here on the convention floor. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Rick. I nice iron. It. Thank you. This is nice a beautiful gloves. tool. Yeah. We'll be back with more profiles right after this. Really get some great work with that. Good. Is that how you do your curls? Well, as we like to say, occasionally on Profiles, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this. We are in El Yonque, which is the, uh, the rainforest, actually, here in Puerto Rico. Behind me is La Coca Falls, about 80 feet high. Runs like this pretty much all the time. They say it rains practically every day somewhere here in the rainforest, which I guess is why they call it a rainforest. Another interesting tidbit of information for you, this is the only rainforest in the United States Park Service. This is the United States Government Park Service property and of course now is protected so it will stay this way forever. It is a beautiful, beautiful place and who knew it was right here in Puerto Rico. What a great place. We'll be back with more Profiles. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Heidi Rowan back with another reminder from Profiles. This is our Profiles newspaper and you can get your copy at the BBSI registration areas, the snack areas, and of course from our profile models walking around the convention floor. The Profiles news is full of stories and photos about the companies and this year's shows, including an interesting and informative story about what Tom Clifford has been doing with his time for the past six months. Hi there, Rick. Keep going. <laughs> Also, there's a great photo of Mike Spano with five of the Miss Universe contestants at a go-kart track in Phoenix. Cost us Lots a of great for stuff. That picture. It did. What picture? That picture of Mike Spano. Oh. <laughs> Profiles News is free, so there's absolutely no excuse for not getting a copy. It's true. It's true? It's true. You know there's a picture of you in here? That's not me. It is you. It's not me. Don't it tell people me. that. Anyway, we'll be back with more profiles. This is her. Look at this. It's you. <laughs> That's a small bathing suit. I know. Don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, Bill Halfaker, who's the senior vice president of Regis, the company that has, what, seven salons now? Chains? Yes. Eight or, salons. In six days. Twelve? Six Hundred. Days.
200? 1,200? Uh, what, what day is this, Sunday? Sunday, oh. 3,642 salons. The epitome of what a chain salon is all about from here at the International Chain Salon Association Conference in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh. The when coffee we come is back, great. the coffee is great. I didn't like the coffee. Hi, I'm back with the answer to the question that we get asked more than any other. Yes, your company can be on the next Profile Show. It's easy and it's the best way we've ever found to get your company's message across to the industry. Now is the time to find out how you can participate in our next show. Either for the Orlando Skin Care Show in October, the ICSA convention in May, or next summer's BBSI. You can talk to Rick here at the show or call Imagine Media at 800-233-9103 and we'll tell you all about it. Now here's something you'll really like. It's time for another uh, spotlight segment here on Profiles, and with me is a woman who has probably been on more profile shows. Than more her. than you, almost. More than me. No, there was that. Well, there was that one year I wasn't here, and you right. took over. But right. I missed that. Susan Cox, yeah. Susan Melinda Cox, the president and founder of CEO Creative right. Education Options, Correct. probably the premier educator, trainer of trainers, um, soft. What do you call that? Soft skills. Soft skills trainer in the beauty industry. Susan, how did you get? to where you are now. How did this all come to be? Well, I had a wonderful schoolroom in which to learn about the professional beauty industry. I came from a communication background, but I had a wonderful schoolroom with eight years at Redken as vice president of education and with uh, three years at the Lamar Company, then Dow Brands, and a year with Zotos. I had a wonderful schoolroom. Mm -hmm. So when I started my own business, I really knew the beauty business, and I knew what the beauty business needed and everyone provides t uh, technical training, which I, I call kind of the hardware of the business as it relates to education. But what no one was really teaching was the software, uh, the, the personal skills that make the difference between a great stylist and a successful salon, a great salesperson and a successful salesperson, mm -hmm. and a not so successful. Susan, you know, it seems to me that this being a um, relatively soft skills business, we're always talking You'd about. You think so. People, you know, we put our hands on people, right. they've got clients. High touch. It's, yeah, it's a high touch business. That companies would be more in tune with this soft skills training, and yet it seems to me that over the years they really haven't done that. You are pretty much turning the, the industry around, don't you think? Some of my clients are particularly savvy as it relates to, to this issue. And year after year I train their new hires, I train their, their customers year after year, but many companies are just beginning to understand that the difference is really in the way people are treated, mm -hmm. not just the services that are given. You've done this in your last series, your I new have. series yeah. of videotape, but four videotapes. Yeah. Communication tool series. A couple of them are, are more soft skills, touchy-feely yeah. kind of tapes than others. Tell me about this series of four. Brand new, just launched them this year, uh, communication tool series. This is the beginning of a series of tapes providing um, soft skill training to the industry. The two that are the most touchy-feely, as you would call it, deal specifically with communication skills that will make a difference for the stylist dealing with their clients, for coworkers within a salon, for the owner dealing with their staff, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, this also applies, of course, to people at a manufacturer level who are dealing with people in the industry. Susan, you, um, you consult and create programs, do your programs for, uh, I guess, mm -hmm. all of the major companies. Yes, I certainly do. Certainly the major companies in the industry. And you've got the programs you've done, the very successful C training you've done for years. Performance Edge. Performance mm -hmm. Edge, those training. What, what do companies that you work for, manufacturers particularly, what do they ask for? Do you create custom programs for them? All the time. What do they want you to do? Well, um, there are um, companies that bring me in to train their new design artists, their platform people, and I'll do a blend of public speaking skill training with sales training. Just about anything in the soft skill area that deals with human interaction within the professional beauty industry. You know, it seems like the last couple of years this industry can't kind of take a step anywhere without Susan Cox somewhere involved. You recently were very an integral part of the uh, ICSA, the, the conference, the annual conference. What yeah. did you do for that group? They're a new consulting client of mine. You know, I do have consulting clients, and uh, and I do de uh, program development for them. With International Chain Salon Association, I've been working closely with them to develop their conference, their annual meeting, and to sort of heighten the awareness of the chain segment of our business within the industry, and and to create a bridge between the chain and the 
the people who provide goods and services for them. The conference happens to be the vehicle through which we're doing that. Susan, if I'm a manufacturer or distributor here at the BBSI and I see you on the convention floor, yeah. I walk up to you and say, Susan, I need help. You can help me if I'm looking for... If you would like to be more effective and more strategic about designing and implementing educationally related programs, which really are marketing and sales, as we know it in our business, then I'm the person to do that for you. If you're looking to improve the quality and effectiveness of the communication between you and your customer at whatever level, then you need me to teach you how to deliver a great speech how to deliver a great sales presentation. If you're looking for a way to provide soft skill training to your customer base, and I'm talking salon level, and you want to be unique and different because there aren't that many people doing it right now, then you need my company, CEO, and me. I guess that says it, doesn't it? I guess it does. It does. Susan Melinda <laughs> Cox, the president of CEO. You can find her here at the convention, walking around the BBSI convention floor. Her phone number is on the screen as we speak if you'd like to call her. This was your 87th you. appearance on Profile. It was, you know and that? I'm only 26. No wonder you are so darn successful. <laughs> Susan Melinda Cox, thanks for being with us. Yep. Thank we'll you. We'll be Rick. back with more Profiles right after this. Nice color jacket. Thanks. Like I'm glad you like it. Kind of green, isn't Turquoise. it? Turquoise. Turquoise. Well, we came down here to beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is kind of uh, cloudy and rainy this morning, but I'm sure that's going to clear up. We have come here at the invitation of Dan Coniglio and the people at the International Chain Salon Association. The ICSA, of course, is the association of the people that own and run chain beauty salons, everything from three or four salons to as many as 3,500 salons. Many of those people are here over the next uh, three days for the annual ICSA conference. And we thought it would be great for you to get an idea of what's happening with this ICSA association. We're going to talk to some of the manufacturers who have participated in this event as sponsors. We'll talk to Susan Cox, who was instrumental in putting this conference together, Dan Coniglio, who is the president of the ICSA, and we'll also talk to some of the members here at this uh, very, very interesting and very informative event, the first International Chain Salon Association that we have attended. We think you're going to find it very interesting. Salon Association, ICSA, is a one-of-a-kind organization made up of chains of salons from large to small who share common interests, goals, and challenges. The association is guided by its bylaws, providing a code of ethics for its members. What would you say to people that are uh, salon owners who are not part of the ICSA? Why should I join the ICSA? Why should I start participating? Let me tell you this. About 10 years ago, someone came up to me and they said, why don't you join this organization? I said, so, so if I join this organization, you mean I've got to go over there and tell everybody my secrets? Well, that's the biz biggest misconception about what we're all about here. It really is. Because since I joined, my business has doubled and tripled and quadrupled over the years because people here are willing to share their information. You don't have to come and tell them your secrets, but people here partner with other people around the country in different parts of the country. And most important, the association has a strong voice in Washington, D.C., and in state capitals to address issues that challenge the salon industry at large. We have as a serious, serious problem right now with, with beauty industry unity. We, we are a multi-billion dollar industry. Think about it. This association alone has over 200 million client visits. We have 35,000 salons, if you can imagine that, in just, in, in, in just this group alone. Think about that. One, one chain alone has 3,500 salons. We have 100,000 100, over 100,000 uh, stylists working right now in this industry uh, that are through ICSA. We have no political clout in the past, but now what's happening is we're coming together as an, as an organization, but secondly, we're coming together as an industry, bringing in schools, bringing in distributorships, bringing in manufacturers, bringing, bringing in the press. Everybody's coming together finally and saying, hey, we are a great industry. We're a multi-billion dollar industry that brings a lot to America. The ICSA is guided by an active board of directors including CEOs and executives from industry-leading companies. How do you think this association provides information for both those vastly different groups of people? 
Well, I think, Rick, that's one of our challenges, and we're trying to do a better job to service the smaller as well as the larger, and of course, everybody in between, and bring together all aspects of our industry to address certain challenges and issues that we have facing us now and going into the future. And because, quite frankly, at the end of the day, we are driven as an industry in beauty by the consumer, and we're seeing that more and more each year. Nowhere is the heart of the association brought to life more successfully than in its annual conference. The conference is held at the beginning of May each year, alternating between the Western and the Eastern United States. And I think this organization uh, has an opportunity to speak as a unit to the manufacturers uh, to assist and uh, give in tune with the times. How quickly can you socialize? introduce you to self to somebody and find out whether they've ever lived in South Dakota before. Appropriately titled Exchange, the conference is filled with dynamic speakers, great social exchange and networking opportunities. It includes an entrepreneurial forum in which owners get together to discuss their common challenges. The benefit here is that, and especially this conference, is that for the first time in, you know, my understanding of the beauty industry, we have a collaboration here between the manufacturers and the owners, uh, and that owners of all different uh, dimensions of the beauty industry are all getting together here and sharing information around issues that are common for us all. And they're issues that we need to address and address uh, uh, effectively here. And the association is not just for the owners of chains. Speakers and classes are designed for top and mid-management level staff within the organization. Well, first of all, these are tough times, as you know. Um, everyone's uh, looking for ways to improve their business, and we all realize there's a labor shortage. And we all realize we have to work together. So I think that uh, this conference in particular seems to have bridged the gap to a degree with the manufacturers and distributors and the school owners and is attempting to pull together all of these elements in order to progress our industry. The ICSA provides members services like an affiliation with Caliper, one of the largest human resource companies in the world, and a direct forum connecting with top companies who provide goods and services to the chain salon. Rick, we're going to cover uh, basically the uh, topic that is pervasive for all industries. It's really about uh, how can uh, companies find people that are going to perform, uh, keep those folks, help them to career path into roles that will allow them to contribute to the company's bottom line. I think it's important for everyone that's involved in this business to support ICSA. One of the reasons is the fact that we make our living on this and right now it's not who's bigger than who and who has the most. What it is right now is you have to help the salons, whether it be a chain, whether it be the independent salon. We have to, on a blanket area, we do business with these people, we have to help those salons grow. If they don't grow, we don't grow. This is our base, so we must ensure that they have success. What makes ICSA such a unique association? ICSA means business. The association is dedicated to creating a link between chain salon companies, providing them with valuable resources and a growing voice. If you aren't currently involved as a member or a sponsor with ICSA, you're missing the greatest opportunity in the industry, to partner with other chains, to connect with the industry and the world. There's not another organization for chain owners in the world that get together once a year to share ideas. To, as a matter of fact, we have seminars specially built for chain owners, so there's nothing like it in the world, and the networking is just outstanding here. Well, that's about going to wrap things up for this, our show number two here at the Summer BBSI in Las Vegas. We would like to thank you for watching. And, of course, a couple of reminders. If you just tuned in and you missed part of this program, stick around because the show will repeat again in just a few minutes and you can see it from the beginning. Also, once you're convinced you have seen this entire program, remember there is another completely different profile show on another channel in your hotel and you can watch that and see all new companies, new exciting stories and all new profiles fun. I'd like to thank the people at the ICSA for inviting us to come to Puerto Rico and see what uh, their organization is all about. And of course a special thanks to the people here at the Westin Rio Mar Beach Resort. It is one beautiful place and if you ever get an opportunity to take a vacation here in the Caribbean or to have a meeting or a function 
give a look at the Western Rio Mar Beach. It is to die for. We've had a great time here. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Profiles.